Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ and Drill, and today's video is about a solution to a very common problem that many people have in their workshops, including this workshop here. So let me ask you, do your tools look like this? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to manage and organize the cords on your tools and extension cords to make a nice little neat package. Okay, now how it starts is with just plain black plastic pipe. That's what we have here, but we've got varying sizes. Now, what I will say is I like to use the black plastic pipe because it tends to blend in with electrical cords because most electrical cords are black on tools. Now, you can get this black pipe from any hardware store or big box home improvement store, and it's not going to cost you much. I just spent a few dollars. Next, what we want to do is we want to cut our pipe into rings. Okay, so we have our three sizes of pipe cut. But if you notice on this last piece here, notice how the top is jagged. Well, you know, even though it's plastic, jagged plastic can cut. And the last thing we want is to feed electrical wires through this tube only to have it nicked. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking emery cloth here and I'm just sanding it smooth, the top, the sides, and the inside. And you can use sandpaper if you don't have emery cloth. Okay, so here are our three pipes. They're already done. I've done both sides. They're nice and smooth. They've been to bird. Here's my air compressor. And as many of you know, when you run an air compressor, it has a tendency to get hot. So when it comes time to, you know, wrap up the cord, I don't really like to wrap the cord around the compressor. It's just easier for me to keep it in a neat bundle. So this is how I do mine. So that's it. Now I just have to put our ring on. So come here from the bottom. So there it is, nice neat little bundle. Now I can push the compressor back to where I store it. What you're looking at is some of my power tools on my tool wall. And as you can see, I've attached that power tool organizer to all those power tools. Now as we pan over to the extension cord caddy, you'll notice that I've used the same power cord organizer on the extension cords as well. And what it does for me is it helps to keep everything really neat and tight and orderly. And I gotta tell you, I really like it. So that's it. Now, if you're new to CJ and Drill, we do videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we really encourage people to leave comments below about problems they're experiencing. Because here's the thing, a lot of the times we get inspired by the questions that people ask in the comments section. So if you've got a particular problem, please feel free to share it in the comments. And I encourage you also to get the notifications. That's the little bell. And the reason I say this is because remember last time we did the Name This Tool contest? The people that responded very quickly, those were the people that got the notifications and they gave themselves an advantage. So give yourself an advantage and get the early notifications because we've got a big, big, big giveaway in Name This Tool coming up very shortly. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.